Group stage match day four. FC 20 nil. Real Madrid one. Olympiacos FC nil. Rich County one. AS Saint Etienne one. Juventus FC nil. FC Dinamo Kiev nil. FC Barcelona one. Valencia CF two. SSC Napoli nil. Sparta Praha nil. Chelsea one. VFL Wolfsburg 2, Manchester City 2. FC team that's really unpronounceable 3, FC Porto 1. Borussia Mönchengladenberg 1, Internazionale Milano 1. Cargent 0. Paris Saint-Germain 3. AS Monaco FC 1, Liverpool 0. Marci Dagna 0. AS Roma 2. FC Zenit St. Petersburg 0 Atletico Madrid 1 Pablo Vesti 0 Ajax 2 Sporting 0 Manchester United 3 FC Basel 1893 0 FC Bayern Munchen 2 And here are the groups So we have 12 points out of a possible 12 and with FC20 having three and two games left, they can only get to nine points. So it does mean that we've qualified. Hence the celebrations by the players at the end uh, of, the, of the match. So Real Madrid, looking at the goal difference from FC20, you'd have to say that Real Madrid are in the driving seat to qualify as well because FC20 would have to score quite a lot, wouldn't they? So, um, Group B. It's uh, much less cut and dried there. Barcelona, then FC, Dinamo, Kiev and Juventus with six points apiece. Uh, St. Etienne propping up the group. Uh, Napoli down there on just the one point. I think they can kiss it goodbye. Um, Sparta Praha with three. They can make a possible nine points, but it's unlikely, isn't it? So it looks like Chelsea and Valencia. Uh, Manchester City top. Wolfsburg with seven points there. Porto and that, that team that nobody can pronounce in a million years. Well, I might be able to pronounce it after a few. You know, like stiff drinks, a few whiskies or something, I don't know. Um, Group A, Paris Saint-Germain top, Cargent bottom, Borussia and Internazionale on five points each. Uh, AS Roma top, close one that, Liverpool. So who will finish top? Don't know. <laughs> Find out after the other couple of games have been played, eh? But Marci Degna, the uh, fake team down there on one point, and Monaco. You know, they're not out of it yet, are they? Five points. So, uh, Group G, Zenit St. Petersburg propping up the rest with just the one point, and Pavel Visti in the fake team with just two points. So, it's the group is with Atletico and Ajax. Don't know who will win it though. Uh, Bayern M Munich or Bayern Munchen, whatever you want. 12 points, straight 12 points, much like my team. Manchester United with 7. So you could say, realistically, it's between them two, but Basel aren't out of it yet, are they? And Sporting have no black. And that concludes the groups um, after four matches, that is. This is a report on the development of your players. And Van der Haar is improving dramatically at the moment. Exclamation mark. Coverage has increased to 88. Exclamation mark. Body balance has increased to 87. Exclamation mark. Ticking power has increased to 87. Exclamation mark. Goalkeeping has increased to 85. Exclamation mark. Explosive power has increased to 81. Exclamation mark. Ball winning has increased to 50. Exclamation mark. Dribbling has increased to 65. Exclamation mark. Catching has increased to 86. Exclamation mark. Oh, there were a lot of exclamation marks there. Oh, I'm quite excited now. Right. 
and van der Haar's OPR has increased to 79! Exclamation mark! M. Sanson has acquired the following skill, cut behind and turn. This will give us another attacking option. Okay, running away from the coach very quickly. 8,172,860 power mints in the kitty. You have been offered the manager's position at Arclay Rovers. <laughs> How much did you pay them? What? Please respond to the contract offer by 31st of December. Thank you. Okay, so where the team graphic the game plan um, to look at the squad for our next game, which will be against Balstone Albion back in the PEU League. And let's have a look at the condition there. Van der Haar obviously will continue in goal because he's still on that charge. Uh, Fard, I've noticed on the glowing arrow as well, so he looks like he's going to play. Um, and other than that, a few players in form, Phil Tizinho, Vert, and Kabroff. And generally, that's not too bad, uh, stamina-wise. So, um, a pretty decent selection of players to play in, you know, in the team for that upcoming game. They have got a teamwork stat on the graphic there of 89. Obviously, my teamwork stat will change depending who plays. But uh, as you can see now, I mean, we've uh, there on, in the team. Andrew Magnoli, the teamwork stat is 93, so we're bedding players down nicely, I think. Um, we're coming in, you know, into the, the some real, you know, important games, obviously qualification and stuff, and the early stages of the league, which is important to get off to a good start, and we're doing it and bedding the players down. So, you know, season's going really well so far. Um, so we should have a decent team to put out. I'm looking at their team. Some reasonably decent players for this division. But once again, you know, nothing spectacular, is it, for this division? And that's disappointing, and I keep mentioning it, that the teams in this division don't seem to be progressing. They don't seem to be, you know... I, I understand that if you're in European competitions, you will get more money. But still, that they don't really seem to be structured in a way to progress and, you know, give the player a challenge. And I don't know why that is. But, um, yeah, Bowstone Albion next. It's a quick look at the schedule. <clears throat> we've got um, the PU League match, which is match day 10, and then a couple of friendly matches, uh, endless friendly matches if you're an international manager, and I think that's why a lot of people just can't be bothered with it, you know. Um, and then... a couple of... PU League, Real Madrid in the Champions League, a few matches away, back to league action, and then finish off the group stage, and then it'll be knockout round, so, yeah, business as usual. Right, I shall see you for the uh, Bowerstone Albion match. I will be downloading the PES 2017 demo um, and I'll probably play a few matches of that and see see what it's like. Um, so I'll put my bids up and I'll give you my thoughts and that on on how it plays for, for me. Obviously, you'll be able to make your own mind up and I'd encourage people just to, you know, not get swept up in the hype, really. Oh, it's a new PES game. It's going to be brilliant. Well. You know, we'll find out whether it's brilliant or not when we play it, won't we? So have a look at it objectively. Don't get carried away with all the slogans and everything else or the advertising that is review scores of 9 out of 10. Because this got advertised at 9 out of 10, didn't it? You know? Oh, and by the way, you have to pay for advertising. Yeah, just sort of throw that out there.
Anyway, so I'll download the demo and have a look at it because that's coming up soon, I believe. Um, but I'll see you for the Bowser and Albion game. Take care.